when they took Recky Stenhouse out and put this cat in, man, I was a happy camper. Here's Chris Busher's 2020 Fast and All Ford Mustang. Howdy, howdy, folks. It's Diecast Buffet here again, back with another NASCAR Diecast review. And today's car is going to be Chris Busher's 2020. Yeah, 2020 Fast and All Ford Mustang. No, it's not Ricky Stenhouse Jr. No, it is Chris Busher. And uh, even though this paint scheme is so similar to uh, Stenhouse's of last year, which I'm, of course, assuming, of course, but uh, I tell you what, man. Fast and All has had such a long history with Roush Fenway Racing. They're really one of the few sponsors that has stuck around. I mean, if you think about it, you know, Oscar Mayer, sure, they have roots in the early 2000s, but they were gone for a fat minute, bro. I mean, they were gone for a, a solid, what, 10 years, but Fast and All was on board uh, the Roush cars uh, way back when, what, like 2011, 2012, you know, with Edwards. So, I mean, they do have some history there. Uh, of course, like 3M, you know, you see them sometimes on uh, some, I actually think some of the Fast and All cars, I've seen it for Busher. But, uh, yeah, or no, well, maybe it was last year with Stenhouse. I don't know. Anyway, so here we go. Here we go. We got the, uh, the Roush Fenway Racing Box. You got the Silver Stripe. You know, once again, I still think they should do colored boxes. That's just me. Uh, Ford Mustang 2020. I mean, just look at that blue, man. That blue is a pretty blue. Uh, I freaking love blue. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get this 2020 Chris Busher Fast and All Ford Mustang for Roush Fenway Racing out of the box. Alrighty, folks. Brand new out of the package and good lord. Look at that name banner right there. I mean, what are they thinking? I mean, what? <laughs> wow i mean it's not look at that it's literally half of what the actual logo is supposed to be i mean they did the same crap i'm talking the same crap with the kevin harvick's i don't understand it uh so here we go <laughs> you got the uh the fast and all forward mustang i mean the blue on this thing off camera it's like a it's like a i would say a lazy blue right like kind of like the peak antifreeze blue but a little middle, a little bit more pale. Um, that's what it kind of reminds me of. But on camera, I mean, this thing is popping. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit more, I would say, saturated. Looks so much, but uh, so much better on camera, in my opinion. Uh, but wow, that that that's a oof right there. That is a oof. So over here to the hood of this diecast, you got uh, fast and all. And I don't know about you, but fast and all is supposed to look like this, right, with the the sharp outlining. I don't see that sharp outlining here. Now, maybe there's a, a, a slight shadow around it. Maybe it's like a light gray, but I just feel like it looks blurry. And I think the reason why is the outline on it is not even outline, really. I mean, look, that's how the logo is supposed to look, right? It's very sharp, but it just looks kind of blurry there all around the edges. So you got the Ford, you got the Mustang, and good God, I love the front end on this car, man. It, it looks like the whole front end is just carbon fiber. I love that. Uh, beautiful. I love that. You got the... Kind of like a dark, dark charcoal. You got Roush Fenway Racing, Sunoco. I uh, got the Mustang logo there and the little horse. It's just galloping on by, I guess. I uh, got the number 17 there. I mean, beautiful. I love the front in there. That, that beautiful blue. You got the kind of carbon fiber mesh. You got the Mustang grill mesh. Just, just very, very sharp. And then over to the left side of the car. And of course, you know, the Chris Busher logo literally just took a hike. Uh, you got the Texas Lone Star flag represent man represent as a texan myself uh as a texan myself i got ford fast and all fine uh, what is it i almost said five third fifth third bank uh, i got sunny d uh, i got fast and all you got uh, whatever that uh, the the bootleg triangle is right there you got mac tool simeon's champion uh nascar race car nascar cup series 3m k n uh good year a little bit blurry there i think it's actually a green outline what am i seeing things I uh, got uh, the PTC logo tires, ugly tires. I mean, it's the same tire mold. It's just the logos are blurry. Why did they do that? I have no clue. I'd rather have sharp-looking Goodyear lettering than have window banners. That's just me because, to me, you're going to see these on the Authentics cars. You're going to see them on the, uh, the Gold Series. You're going to see them in the promos. You're going to see them everywhere. You're only going to see the window banners on the gold series i rather have something i can see 
on every die cast you get. Uh, but the paint scheme design, it's very modern. It you know, kind of reminds me of like just like a sharp modern edge, like a tool or something, because you could see that kind of like, what is that, an octagon or something pattern, you know, the stop sign joint, kind of have that pattern, uh, but it's like a space kind of like, you know, spaceship kind of uh, carbon fiber pattern, not your traditional carbon fiber look, but very sharp modern paint scheme, definitely like that and then over here to the caboose of this die cast you can see how that like that mesh carbon fiber design goes all the way around here and actually goes around the uh the top of the trunk line i actually like that it goes around here wraps around the spoiler uh very nice indeed but you do got some uh some striping issues and you know what i'm not gonna really harp on that because i know how difficult it is to wrap a uh, the sides of die cast with the you know the actual back of the die cast so i'm not gonna really harp on there look i make custom die cast i make crappy custom die cast but i tell you it is a lot harder than it looks to actually line those things up uh you got uh rash fenway racing uh 17 got the michigan license plate that's pretty cool um I wonder, you know what i wonder if with um if toyota started putting license plates on their cars would they be like have a kentucky license plate or would they have a texas license plate i'm not too sure uh you got the fast and all logo there with the mustang gt logo usually is and you got uh, i guess that's wormy from spongebob just crawling right there on the white stripe i mean whatever that crinkle is i mean good lord and then over here to the right side of this die cast and once again i will say the blue on camera is so much more saturated so much more pretty i mean off camera it doesn't look bad it really don't it looks good but on camera, oh my god, the blue is just, that is just the, the power of recording technology, man. It is so much better on camera. Uh, so a little bit of a buyer beware there if you are uh, in the market for this die cast. And then over here to the roof of this Ford Mustang, you got the Sharp number 17. And you know what? I really wish they brought back the Matt Kenza font. Look, I get it. The Kenza font's a little bit old. You know, I still love it. I think it's a great font. Um, this font clearly didn't do Roush Fenway any justice or any good things. I mean, yeah, they wanted, you know, a 400 and a 500 mile plate races, but this number, I mean, ever since they changed it, the magic just stopped. You can't think about it. In 2012, Kenseth won the 500, he won Talladega, and I think he won somewhere else too. And in 2013, when they put this joint on the car, just poofed the dump. Um, but yeah, I, I do think they should go back to the traditional uh Kenzif 17 for busher that's just me i think they should just try to rebrand the 17 car as much as they can away from stenhouse because uh stenhouse is well <laughs> i feel like he wrecks every single cup race to be honest with you like i i really do um it, it, it's that bad it's got fast and all over here on the roof flaps and once again it's very blurry i mean look at it here very sharp very crisp but right here it's just like it has like a it has like a light gray shadow around it but it's not dark enough that you could actually see it so it blends in as white and in other words it just makes it more uh the logo the words bigger and it just overlaps and you don't get to see the sharp line so it looks blurry uh, i got chris busher on the name row obviously it doesn't have the uh the cup series front windshield here and i think the reason for that is uh, i've already mentioned in some of the previous videos but um uh the latest die cast haul i got um it had two different hauls in one they shipped the early may and like the mid to late may they shipped both of them together so the first haul uh, i believe this was with the keselowski die casts uh they didn't have the front windshield banners so these got produced before they started putting the windshield banners on that's that's at least what i'm thinking i'm thinking that's my best theory so don't, don't you know don't go right home about it but that's just my best theory and of course you got fast at all on the deck list holy cow folks what a beautiful die cast i mean absolutely fantastic the blue is just remarkable on this car it is just fantastic look if you want a color that pops in your in your die cast stop motions your die cast racing you know maybe a little their last cup series action you know guess what their last cup series is coming back season three august 2nd this summer so uh, if you want to see this car on track make sure to hit that subscribe button guys got a whole bunch of dural ass cup news coming up this summer uh, we're gonna have 40 car fields we're gonna have an all-star race uh, we're gonna have daytona duels go or go homers you know we're not gonna have necessarily qualifying but we're gonna have qualifying races you're gonna have drivers are gonna go home 
all kinds of cool stuff. Uh, make sure to go ahead and subscribe for that. But I tell you what, man, this is a fantastic die cast. Look, I would not recommend getting the Fifth Third Bank car right now because you got the, the fast and all joints. Um, who's to say they ain't gonna produce the Sunny D joint? I mean, you got the fast and all car here. That This car is so much better than anything, the Fifth Third Bank car. But who knows? Maybe they'll make an alternate paint scheme later this year, you know? Maybe they'll get a new special paint scheme because, to be honest with you, it's been, you know, fast and all, uh, Fifth Third Bank, Sunny D, and that's pretty much like the three paint schemes they're releasing every year for the 17 car. So maybe we'll get a new one. I hope to God. Fingers crossed. Anyways, guys, thank y'all so much for watching the video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Go ahead, check me out on Instagram at Diecast Buffet. 4,000 followers over there. Extremely blessed to have that. With all that being said, folks, Diecast Buffet signing off.